our ecosystem relies on 1500 species of pollinating insects, including butterflies, moths, bumblebees, honeybees, hoverflies, wasps and beetles. Many of these species are literally dropping like flies. The biggest cause of their declines is habitat loss. There are nearly 24 million gardens in the UK, so even if we all do a tiny bit of wildlife gardening, we could make a massive difference to pollinator populations. Could you set aside just one square metre of outdoor space to provide food and shelter for butterflies and bees? We're the Butterfly Brothers and we're here with Butterfly Conservation to share our top butterfly friendly gardening tips and show you how just one square metre of space can be transformed into a pollinator paradise. So now it's time to plant your plot for pollinators, but before you do, there's a few things you should consider. Some flowers produce more nectar and are easier for butterflies to feed from. Also, single flowering varieties have fewer petals, which makes nectar easier to access. If you're potting up plants with shop-bought compost, always check the bag to make sure it's peat-free. Peat bog habitat can support all sorts of wildlife, including the large heath butterfly, and their homes are destroyed when peat is extracted to make compost. Remember to water your plants so they keep producing nectar and remember that plants in pots will dry out quicker than those in the ground. It's important not to overwater the plants and always make sure you've got drainage holes in containers. If you deadhead old flowers, your plants will produce more, providing more nectar and making them look better for longer. Try to avoid using single-use plastics. Many garden centres sell potless bedding plants and instead use biodegradable packaging. Pesticides contain chemicals that harm butterflies and moths, as well as killing your garden's natural pest fighters, like ladybirds. Biosecurity is a big issue. Pot-grown plants imported into the UK run the risk of introducing non-native invasive species and pathogens, with potentially serious implications for wildlife. Growing from seed, swapping plants with friends and buying potted plants that have been grown in the UK are all ways to reduce your contribution to this problem. If you're not sure of the origins of a plant, garden centre staff should be able to enlighten you. By asking about the source of plants, it also raises awareness of the issue and shows retailers that their customers care about wildlife. 